and I'm here from the CME group with your January expiration review. More like your exasperation review. We've seen nothing from the end of 2012 until where we are now except back and fill. Essentially what that means is traders really can't decide where the top or the bottom is in this market. Or what we say from the floor, back and fill until it spills or in other words you can't fight the tape it's been a really tough market for traders to wrap their heads around there's very little volume there's not much volatility and we're trading in those really really tight five to seven handle ranges does that mean there's no opportunity absolutely not there are plenty of places to pick your spots in the market this year i think 2013 is going to be fabulous for stock picking the SIBO's correlation indexes are at the lowest they've been historically, which helps support that thesis. Balance sheets are incredibly healthy, lots of cash, not just to increase dividends or increase share buybacks, but to put some of that capital to work and increase shareholder value. I think 2013 is going to be great for CapEx, which is good for the industrial and the tech sectors as companies look to upgrade equipment and technology. I like trades in the semi space with names like LRCX. I love the industrial space. We've seen some nice performance out of GE. We're expecting some more earnings reports to reflect that type of performance. You can get involved in a more robust, a more overall trade in the XLI, which is the industrial ETF. I also like areas like the ag space, which is something we've been talking about all of 2013 and of course 2012. We're gonna see a lot of cash open up there when the lockup with Mosaic comes away in May with Cargill. Those shares will not be diluted. They're already on the book. So expect some nice, healthy industry consolidation there as well. I think if you really find your spots for outperformers and of course underperformers, 2013 can be an incredibly interesting year for your book.